Good morning, everyone. My name is Francis Adai Rosario, and today I have a speech for you guys. The importance of global security. Who really knows what global security is? Have you even heard about global security? If not, I'm here to inform you about global security. Global security can also be known as international security. It is a combination of steps and actions taken by the state and different international allies like the United Nations, European Union, to make sure there's mutual survival and safety worldwide. That is the big general definition of global security. But what I would say global security is, global security is those securities that have been put in place with all of our allies and everyone we know and just that national level of security. That level that is gonna protect us from military and non-military threats. And I believe that even if you just have a little bit of knowledge about global security and just understanding just a little bit, you will understand the importance of national security, global security, or also known as international security. There are three big reasons why I believe you should worry about our national security. Global interconnection and interpensions with other allies, wide range of security areas, and war is near. And I believe that these three reasons are good enough reasons why you should worry about our national security, global security, international security. Let's start off with the first one. Global interconnections and interdependence with other allies. We cannot do this alone. We cannot secure for a nation alone and then when national level risk happens, we cannot just take care of it alone. We have allies and people and other nations that pretty much are in our little group. That's how I want to put it. I need to be able to tell you that it's in a little circle, and we can't work without them. We need resources from them. We need to be able to come back from a natural disaster, a national plague, and something just broke out. With having our allies and other nations helping us and other certain civilizations, and Congress really would not be able to build back up the foundations they had originally if we didn't have these resources, these allies. Oil does not grow only here. But let me last. Oil does not, is not invented only here. Certain foods, certain supplies that we get are not here. Our cars, like, have you ever read some stuff? It's like made in China. Like, that's what, I, that's what I mean. Like, all of the resources that United States has, we didn't only get them from United States. We could, but it's cheaper in other countries and it's just better. So if we need medicine, if we need help after natural disaster, who are we going to call? A natural disaster, a natural plague can break out. And without being able to have those allies and people to be our backbone and depend on, we would fail. Global security really translates into survival mode. We have to depend on our resources and be able to sit down at the table and discuss issues to better our lives. United States doesn't just make crazy decisions without contacting their allies sometimes. We need to be able to see eye to eye and be able to understand that, hey, I need your help. Hey, we just got hit with a tsunami. Can you send over some allied forces to be able to help us? Global interconnection and independence is definitely one of the main reasons why you should worry about global security. The second reason why I believe we should worry about global security is because there's a wide range of security areas that must be covered. Global security is a big, big topic, but it has all these subtopics on the bottom. And basically, all these subtopics are very specific. Food, economy, health, environmental, personal community, political aspects in this nation are all areas that are being studied and held in place of our global security departments. Without global security and someone fighting for the resources we need, it will be hard to live in a country full of the American dream. What do I mean by that? We cannot fight every issue by ourselves. Global security is a big, big picture. And there's people who have designated jobs to focus and be able to fight for what is right. Basically, be able to fight for our resources, be able to fight for our rights, be able to fight for what we need as civilians, as citizens of the United States. We deserve a good nation. We deserve a good country. And without having people to be able to just take every aspect of global security, without having anyone focus on all these little areas that global security has, we would not be able to succeed. There's a wide range of security areas that we have to cover. 
And with global security being the major topic and just the subtopics underneath, we will be able to successfully do this. Now, the last reason why I believe we should worry about global security is a subtopic within a subtopic. Global security is not just the little picture. Global security is really this big picture. World War III can happen any day now. Without global security, I believe that all hells will break loose. With recent issues with Korea threatening our nations, with their nuclear bombs as well as Russia, it would be very devastating to know that we don't have enough countermeasures as a country, let alone international protocols, of how we will go about this if it were to happen. With global securities when wars that involve disarming and non-proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, it can all be taken care of at a national level. Let me give you an example. If one day North Korea decides that they wanted to bomb us, they wanted to shoot nuclear missiles at us, what will we do? We will have countermeasures, but we need to notify every other ally and be able to pretty much get everyone that we know involved to be able to help us because after something like that happens, a big mass destruction just happened. We need help. If war happens and something breaks loose, who do we call? With global securities, we know that there's allies. We know that there's we can prevent a war from happening because we're able to look at the intelligence side of it. We're able to basically sit down at a national level and be able to discuss, is this really worth fighting for? War always leads to death, plagues, mass destructions, and it just leads to very bad things. Global security, I believe, can impede that, can basically decrease the level of how much we get into conflict with other nations. War is a very scary thing. I believe that global security can pretty much just prevent it from happening. I have a quote from Paul D. Williams that reads, Security is therefore a powerful political tool in claiming attention for priority items in the competition for government attention. This quote really stood out to me because I love how he defines that security is a powerful political tool. What, 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 I, what I understand by that is that if we have all these security measures in place, we can be able to be seen seriously around the world. If we know... And, and, and citizens in the United States will be able to see you seriously. Who will want to trust in a government that has no type of security in place? None. No laws, nothing. How will we trust in you if we don't know what... Like It's like rules, like set in stone rules. Securities are like rules, a powerful political tool, basically just letting everyone know that, hey, excuse my French, but I'm not here to fuck around. I'm not here to allow you to walk all over me. I have securities in place and I want you to follow these. And once you go past these, I can do what my protocols designate me to do. This quote by Williams is very, very attention grabbing. The next part of it is in claiming attention for priority items in the competition for government attention. Wow, what what is he saying? In claiming attention for priority items in competition for government attention resources. We are pretty much putting securities in place and pretty much getting that attitude and that, that attention from our, like, we're claiming certain things, like, let's use oil, for example. If we claim our priority items like oil and we compete for them in the national attention level, and we basically say, put our foot down and say, I have security in place, I have this and I want this. And we use this powerful political tool as securities in claiming attention, pretty much letting everyone know that we need this resource, we need this, this is how we believe in this, and we're going to compete for it. We're going to be at the top of the top. No one's going to mess with the United States. I know that may sound a little selfish, I know, but really, wouldn't you want to be more safe than sorry? Wouldn't you want to be able to put security in place and have that global security mindset that, hey, if this goes wrong, we know what to do. We need to be able to gain that government attention, be able to let other countries know that this is not the country you want to mess with. If security is in place, we have claimed the attention for priority items in the competition for government attention. In conclusion, 
Security is a very broad spectrum that has to be researched and talked about in the smaller subtopics because major parts play into it, like I said. The major things to understand is that today in 2018, without global security, we wouldn't be able to succeed as a nation. We're with others to be able to get issues solved and avoid conflict. These are not the only reasons why you should care about global security, but major ones we need to keep an eye on. This is definitely something that we need to continue to fight for and continue to get understanding of. I really hope you guys felt like this was informative for you and that you understand a little bit more about global security and why I feel it should be important, why I feel you need to worry about it. Like, there's other things to worry about, but when it comes to global security, I believe everyone needs to worry about because every single aspect in the government falls underneath this topic. If no one's really looking deep into it, if no one's really paying attention, if no one's seeing what in the world is my government doing to protect me internationally, then you're not really caring about your government. You're not really caring about the resources that you need or the benefits that you need as a citizen here in the United States. As I come in conclusion and end to my speech, I would like to pretty much just let you know about my sources. I had three sources, the Evolution of International Security, Security and International Relations, and the Oxford Handbook of International Relations. Thank you so much, and I really hope you guys did learn a little bit and just pretty much got a bias. I, I know this might have seen bias and opinion a little bit, but I just wanted to inform you guys about global security. Thank you so much.